Hey guys, this is Mac has an on with our 14th iPhone programming tutorial. Now, in the last tutorial, I promised you guys that we'd go more into the thing I did then. But, um, it doesn't seem like many of you are actually interested in this. You just want me to either do game development tutorials or, um, tutorials on how to make something like a notes app or something like that. So, I don't know. Um, I think for now I'm going to start off doing game development tutorials because, um, in general game development is just more fun and I think more people want to do it than, you know, making utility apps. So, today in this tutorial we're actually just going to make, um, a game where you have to click, um, uh, click a square that's moving around. And when you do you'll win. And we're going to be elaborating upon this in the next few tutorials. So let's open up. Xcode and let's go to file new project iOS application view based application and we're gonna be calling this our first game and I'll not put spaces alright so we're gonna be making this game using UI kit there are a couple different ways you can make a game you can make a game using OpenGL, Cocos 2D, UI Kit, or Core Graphics, and there are other libraries as well. But we're going to be using UI Kit because UI Kit is built into the iPhone, and well, so is OpenGL and Core Graphics, but it's also the easiest to use, and I think you'll understand it the best. So we're going to just have our main view controller, as you can see here, um, our first game view controller dot H. And this is where we're going to be declaring our variables. So I'm going to start out with one view. So I'll have a UI view and I'll call this click me. And I'll actually make it a UI button because they have to be able to click it. Now, in order to make it move, we went over how to make things move in two different ways. NS timer, which <clears throat> just allows us to move it a little bit every um, like tenth of a second or so. And we also know how to use uh, core animation or, you know, UI view, begin animation, etc. And so we're going to be using NS timer for the animation because we have more control over what it actually does. So we're going to set up our NS timer. Move timer. And basically this button is going to bounce around the screen pretty quickly until we click it. And when we click it, we will win. So we're going to have a function here and this function is going to be called timer tick and we're going to have something called uh, button click which will be when they click on the button so let's go in here and put the code for these and I'll put it right under view did load but I'm going to uncomment this so in our timer tick we're going to move the button. So I'll put a comment and move the button. And in our button click, we're going to say, tell the user they won. Now, um, we're going to be learning in this tutorial how to do an alert to bring up a little window that says you won, but we're not going to go over that yet. So as we review, our timer is called move timer, so we're going to set that up. Move timer equals timer schedule. And I'll do this um, method. So we'll make it have the time interval 0 0.1. The target will be self. The selector will use the at selector to specify timer tick. User info will be nil because we don't want any. And repeats will be yes. Uh, all right. So now in here, we're going to get the frame of the button. So CG rect button frame equals and what's it called click me frame now we're gonna say button frame dot origin dot y plus equals 10 which means we're moving it down on the y axis now uh, as we move it down um, we're also gonna move it to the right um, so let's do this Now, as we review, we're moving it over to the right and to down 10 pixels. This eventually will move it off the screen. So we actually want it to go um, 
to bounce off the right side, bounce off the left side, bounce off the top, and bounce off the bottom. So in order to do this, we're going to need two velocity variables. So I'm going to declare int velocity x and int velocity y. Um, this is essentially our velocity vector that we will use to move it around. So initially when the view loads we're gonna say velocity x equals 10 and velocity y equals 10 and this is how much it'll move in pixels every second here so this is 0.1 so every 0.1 seconds the ball is going to move um, by 10 pixels and I shouldn't call it a ball it's a button All right, here we're gonna add velocity x and velocity y now um, when it hits the side um, when it hits the side of a view, uh, it's going to switch our x velocity. When it hits the top or the bottom, it's going to switch our y velocity. And by switch, I mean make negative or positive, flip um, the negation. So in order to do this, we're going to use an if statement like we did in our previous tutorial. So we're going to say if button dot frame dot origin dot x less than zero, that means it hit the left side. So we'll say velocity x times equals negative 1, times negative 1 makes it negative. And we can also say double pipe. Uh, in order to do this, you press shift backslash. This is not a capital L, so don't type that because it's wrong. But yeah, this is how you type this. So it's double pipe. And then the other condition is if it hits the, um, the right side. So dot origin dot x plus button dot frame dot size dot width greater than self dot view dot frame dot size dot width now this is a bit more complicated and I don't think I've gone over this in the past but essentially the x coordinate is the coordinate of the button in the top left hand corner so in order to tell the coordinate of the right side of the button we have to add the width then we have to check if it's greater than the total width of our view. If it is, then it's gone too far to the right. Now, we can copy this and change everything to Y and to height. So we change this, height, height, and velocity Y times equals negative one. Now we can say button, set frame, or set frame, yeah, no, click me, set frame. Alright, and there we go. This will move it all around and about. So, that's that. Now, we're going to set it up in Interface Builder, and I'll make the button click work at the end. So, we'll get to that last. Alright, so here's our view. Let's just drag on our button. Let's say, click me, and let's um, move it. I'll start it off in the center. And they'll make it taller. I'll make it the same height as it is wide. And they'll center it again. Um, so hopefully you can see what I just did there in Interface Builder. Um, now we're going to go to Files Owner. Uh, go to our outlets. And set up button click with this. On touch up inside. Now something I forgot to do is to make this an IB outlet. We have to make this an IB outlet in order for us to be able to use it in our interface builder. Now we see it, we drag it over, and boom. So we're pretty much done with interface builder. So let me just view this code. And everything looks pretty fine, so let's find it. And here we have our button moving around at about 10 frames per second about our view. Now, we can click it, and nothing really happens. We don't win or anything like that. So we have to make it do that. So first of all, I'm going to make this go slightly faster. And set the velocity as half as much as it is. Whoop de doo Now, let's make the button click code. So in order to bring up an alert view, a box that says you've lost or you've won. We have to use a class called UI Alert View. This is declared as followed. We say UI Alert View 
alert. Now we have to initialize it. So we'll say equals UI alert view alloc and knit with title. Here's the title of our alert. I'll call it U1. The message will be you clicked the button. Hence, all right, huh? therefore, you have won the game. I'll set the delegate for now will be nil, and we'll get into that in a future tutorial. The cancel button will be nil. And the other button titles, we're going to write OK, comma, and then nil. The comma and nil is something called a sentinel um, end. Basically, it just means that when after the commas, you can have as many buttons in here as you want. So you can say OK, cancel, and separated by commas. Nil just represents the end of your buttons, basically. So that's how we create our view. In order to show it, sorry, in order to show it, we have to say alert show. This will, this show is a function on every UI alert view to show it. And now, so we don't have memory leaks, we have to do alert release. That just um, makes sure that alert is deallocated. It just makes it so your app is more efficient. That's all you really have to understand about that. So now, if we run it, And we click it, you won. And you won again, you won again, you won again, etc. And you will never lose. So that is the first part of my many, many part um, game tutorial. In the next tutorial, I think we're going to make it um, so there are multiple buttons that keep on appearing every five seconds that bounce around. And you have to get rid of all of them before you can win. And they start going um, faster and faster. So I think that's what we'll do in our next tutorial. So look forward to that. Um, so thanks for watching Mac has an 1. Subscribe and goodbye.